Hello and welcome to the next video in our MSIX Appattach series. In the previous video, we gave an introduction to the new MSIX Appattach capabilities in Nervio Manager and how it integrates with the native WVD uh, MSIX capabilities through the portal. Uh, in this video, we are actually going to explore the MSIX Appattach Images Library uh, define some terminology and actually look at the process of adding images and assigning them to host pools. So let's go ahead and start under MSIX app attached images. And on this page, um, if, if you refer to the previous video, you'll see there will be a banner if you have a previous version of MSIX app attached managed through Nervio Manager, it gives you the option to migrate, but we'll ignore this for now. And we're actually going to start importing and working with new versions of AppAttach images and packages. Let's go ahead and define some terminology first. So when we talk about an image, we're talking about an expanded container of MSIX packages, also known as applications. So an image, which could be in the format of a VHD, VHDX, or a CIM file, are the things that get mounted to the session host VMs, and they contain an extracted version of the MSIX packages inside of them. An image could contain one or more MSIX packages inside, and the Nerdio Manager allows you to upload multiple versions of images and automatically apply um, future updates to the host pools where images are assigned automatically. So once we are in the MSAX images library, we have two options to create uh, applications or to, to upload um, you know, components into here. We can either upload an image, which is going to be in either VHD, VHDX or CIM format. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll use uh, Notepad++ as an example. Uh, we can give it a description optionally. We can choose which storage location to upload it to. Let's go ahead and select the Appetage demo. We can give it a version. This is something that you know I, as the user, can define when I'm uploading it. And as we'll see in a little bit, you can upload multiple versions, uh, overriding or, or adding to the image uh, and maintaining multiple versions. So let's go ahead and start with version 100 for now. You can then select your file that actually contains the image. And in this case, we have a VHD file, but this could be VHDX or CIM. And we can also optionally upload a certificate file that uh, if, if we use the self-signed certificate to package and create this MSIX application, then that's a file we can provide. The Nervio Manager will deliver that certificate and install it automatically on our session hosts. And we'll have a future video that's going to focus specifically on certificate management. So we selected our name, selected our image file and certificate, gave it a version and the location. Once we click upload, this is going to start uploading. You can see that this is in progress right now. And down here on the bottom, you can actually see that this file is being uploaded and just a few seconds, uh, it is going to become available for us to assign. Now, one thing I wanna show you while this is uploading is that there is also a way to upload an actual MSIX app rather than a ready-made image. So in this case, I just uploaded a VHD file, which was created uh, manually by expanding an MSIX file into a VHD file um, and, and capturing all the necessary information from that VHD file. However, I could also upload an MSIX file directly and have Nervio Manager do the expansion and the image creation for me. So the process is really straightforward. You click on Upload MSIX App, give it a name, select your storage location, choose an MSIX file. In this case, I'm gonna choose my Notepad MSIX, Notepad++. Uh, you can again choose a certificate file that was used to generate the MSIX package. And then because the packaging, the process of creating a VHDX in this case is going to be done on a VM, Nerdio Manager will generate a VM 
um, and, and do that packaging process. So here we can specify some of the properties. They're pre-filled for us, so we can just click OK. But if we wanted to override some of these, we could do that. So in this case, it's going to generate the temporary VM on a particular network using a particular image with a certain VM size and disk in a certain resource group, and then use that VM to take the MSAX file, generate a VHDX file, and then expand the MSAX into the VHDX. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you will see that task being submitted. Uh, it's going to upload the MSIX first, then it will create a VM and go through that process. But while that's running, I see my first upload is now done. I can either minimize this while the other one is running, or I can just cancel, not cancel, or close out the completed uh, upload processes. And you'll see that I now have Notepad++ listed in my list. It has no description, and it's currently not assigned to any host pools. So the first thing I can do is I can assign it to host pools. How do I do that? That's done from the host pools menu. So if we go into workspaces, go into our workspace, find our app attached demo host pool. From the drop down menu, go to manage, click on MSIX app attach. And here we're going to click on add. And when we click on add, we have a two options of where the image is going to be coming from. It could either be coming from the image library, which is where we just uploaded it into, or it could be coming from a self-managed image. If we select self-managed image, this is going to prompt us for a UNC path. And this UNC path could be anywhere. It could be Azure NetApp files. It could be a file server or any other SMB storage location, as long as it is accessible to the session host VMs inside of this selected host pool. In our example, let's go ahead and click on the image library. We're going to then select the image that we want to attach. And here is our Notepad++ image that we just uploaded. Once we do that, it will automatically select the default version. We only have one version right now. It will enumerate what MSIX packages are available inside of it and list them for me right here. So here I see Notepad++. If there were others inside of that image, I could choose others. And then I can go ahead and select my package, click OK. And that is going to perform the process of adding this package to the host pool. So now the package is added to the host pool. If we go back to our images page uh, under MSIX Epitach, you can see that it's now assigned to this host pool right here. Now let's imagine we now have a new version of Notepad++ that we want to uh, make available to our users. So what we could do is we can select Upload New Version from the drop-down menu net next to Notepad++. We can give it a new version number. Let's call it 101. We will select our updated image. In this case, I'll use the same one, uh, but, but in, in principle, you would use something that, that's been updated. So let's go ahead and select that PhD file. If needed, we can select a new certificate file or continue relying on the existing one, which is what I'm going to do. I'm now going to select the certificate file and click Upload. This is, again, going to take now the new version of the application and add it into this package images library. And what you'll notice is currently our default version says 1.0.0. And if we click on versions, this will show us our current versions. This is the one we created a few minutes ago. This is the one that's being uploaded right now. And in just a few seconds, it, uh, it should show up in this list with a later date and a newer version and obviously an updated path to that image. Once this image is here, we will be able to choose to make it the default and automatically assign it to any host pools that are leveraging this particular image of MSIX applications. So let's just give it a couple, uh, a few more seconds. All right, so there we go. So we now have version 1.01. 100 is still the default. 101, you can see, has a newer date. 
And what we could do is we can click on set as default. This will tell us that this application is currently assigned to the following host pools, which we know because we did that a few minutes ago. And it gives us the option to update the application on the existing host pools if possible. So by checking this box, we are going to actually force MSIX to use the new version on any currently assigned host pools. If we don't check the box, then all that's going to happen is that 101 will be marked as default so that if we go to another host pool, uh, for instance, here and try to add this application, you will see that version 101 will be selected by default. Uh, and because we don't have a certificate available on that host pool yet, uh, this, this activity uh, it failed. But if we go back to our original host pool where the certificate is already installed, we go to MSIX app attach, try to add notepad, you'll see it automatically selects the default version, enumerates what's inside of it, and now you can see there are multiple versions listed here. So this is really convenient in being able to manage and deliver various versions of the same image to different host pools, all within the Nerdio Manager. In future videos, we're going to look at certificate management uh, and other MSIX Apatech capabilities, and I will see you soon.